Southern New Bedford Public Schools community, your support continues to be appreciated as we're working together during this time. I appreciate your attention for the next few minutes for me to share about five key points. So I know that your time is precious and I'll make sure we stick to that time. First, congratulations to our many seniors who continue to receive college acceptances from schools across the country. To highlight, we have three students who are accepted into Harvard University this year, as they have had their lowest acceptance rate ever, 3.4%, which means over 57,000 students applied, with Harvard only accepting less than 2,000 worldwide, and three of them attend New Bedford High School. That is amazing and speaks to the high quality of instruction, preparation, and student dedication to learning. Please see our New Bedford Public Schools website for a complete list of the colleges our students have been accepted to to date. All our elementary schools have expanded at multiple grade levels, and our middle schools and high school have all been back as of Friday, April 9th. Again, we must stick to appropriate distancing, hand sanitizing, and mask wearing. Let us make sure we stick to that plan so we can hopefully enjoy the end of year activities, including ceremonies, graduation, and other events. Access through equity is critical, and we are continuing to improve our system so parents can communicate with school staff in their native languages. We've been using a phone line that provides 350 different languages, including Kiche. School staff has communicated with parents in their native language with over 4,160 calls and meetings using interpreters in many languages, including Portuguese, Spanish, Arabic, Creole, Mandarin, and French, to name a few. I presented our budget priorities to the school committee that focus on our attention on targeted areas that will continue to support the teaching and learning process. Again, this is with access through equity as our priority. Again, we'll prioritize strategies with demonstrated ability to improve outcomes for our students by increasing student access to supports to create more equitable opportunities. We want to expand our access to full-day, high-quality pre-kindergarten for four-year-olds. We're going to provide research-based early literacy programs in pre-K and early elementary grades. Also, we need to increase our rigor, meaning early college programs for all high school students. We need to support our educators to implement high-quality, aligned, culturally relevant curriculum. We want to diversify our workforce through retention and recruitment of staff who reflect our student body. And we really need to focus on facility upgrades. We need to create healthy and safe school environments. All of this is connected to meeting students' socio-emotional needs by also increasing school-based social workers to address the entire student. Spring sports will be well underway after spring break, which runs from April 19th through April 23rd after which we look forward to seeing students safely competing. Our Family Institute for Student Success, or FIS, has expanded to include five additional schools this year. FIS is a nine-week parent empowerment program where parents can learn how to navigate the school system and better support their children throughout their education. Please connect with your school if you're interested. We have graduated over 135 parents from Gomes, Hayden McFadden, Parker, and Jacobs Elementary Schools, which has impacted more than 230 students. Starting on April 13th, we will be starting FIS at Campbell and Brooks Elementary Schools, and we encourage all interested families at those schools to please sign up. So again, in closing, please contact your child's teacher for information on tutoring, which is available, free to all students in all grades. So stay tuned as we plan for summer programs. The emphasis on being proactive is even more important now as safety remains our priority, and the effort of wearing the masks, sanitizing our hands, and being distanced from others is paying off. We cannot let our guard down as the contagiousness of this virus still exists. So again, thank you for doing your part. Keep checking our website, newbedfordschools.org, or our Facebook page, and make sure you stay updated by calling our family support line at 508-997-4515 for help with any topic. So please think of others, mask up, stay safe, have an enjoyable spring break safely. Thank you.